This is Phil Puglisi with Pugski.com here with Andy Worth at Squaw Valley. Welcome, Andy, Phil. we had a great year last year. You've got a lot going on. People are excited. Yeah, tell me was, what tell me what's new. Well, first off, you got to hit on this season. 15-16 El Nino delivered. Uh, came in hard and uh, just really excited about the season and, and frankly all the, the you know the, the pure joy and happiness that was brought to everybody who lives here. I'll tell you everybody is just excited in the area. It's been a long time coming. Now you've got a big redevelopment process going on. We do. You've got something really exciting, a base-to-base -base nautilus. People have been so excited over the course of the year since I arrived here. Everybody's always wanted to get Squaw and Alpine connected and it's going to happen. Well, I, I, you know, we still have a little ways to go yep. in terms of the planning process. We have to work through the federal government with the U.S. Forest Service and the state government through Placer County and the CEQA process. So we still have our work cut out for us. But I think what's really intriguing about the base space gondola, this is not an idea that we came up with, as you identified. No. People have been talking about this, and I was pleased Eric Polson, the son of the founding family of mm -hmm. Squaw Valley, the Polsons, Wayne Polson, shared with me in, in many conversations that it was a dream of his father when he founded Squaw Valley to actually have Squaw Valley and Alpine Meadows be one. Um, and so while we respect and will continue to respect the heritage of each mountain, uh, this is actually, we think, the realization of a vision and a dream that was started back in the early 50s by Wayne Polson. Yep. And I think there's real value to that. Um, it, there's a pride to that. And uh, this isn't a new idea. This is just implementing a vision that was established 65 years ago. Well, I know everybody in the air is excited that there's a site that we're going to get it done. There you go. Well, I, I tell you, we are too. Um, Squaw Valley is a phenomenal mountain. It's a world-class mountain. I mean, I've, I'm new here, right? Five years, five and a half years here. I've found, I've just absolutely come to love this place. Alpine Meadows, same deal. 2,400 skiable acres, phenomenal terrain, you know, great adventure terrain, but really what we love about, what I love about Alpine Meadows, family-friendly intermediate terrain. You know, Phil, that back in the 60s and the 70s, Squaw Valley and Alpine Meadows were the preeminent destinations in North America. And frankly, through the 80s and 90s, it slipped backwards. Uh, competitors went right by us, Whistler, Blackcomb, and some of the great mountains in Colorado and Utah. And, and, and the competitors went right by us while this place kind of stood frozen in time. This is our opportunity to go back to that preeminent uh, destination status. And, and I think a lot of folks are real excited about that. Well, you mentioned just something going back to the 60s and the heritage, having the Olympics here in 1960. Yeah. Um, again, that's what you've got the the flames out front, you've yeah. got the, the, the Olympic rings, rings yeah. here, and it's it's prevalent that it's part, it's part of the heritage here. Yeah. Now, for this coming season, you've got something that goes back that heritage heritage coming this year. That's right, and and it's it's really neat. We celebrate all facets of the heritage and history. And, and the truth is that Wayne Poulsen founded this mountain. The reality is also that Mr. Uh, Alex Cushing did some phenomenal things by convincing the USOC and the IOC mm -hmm. to bring the Olympics here yep. in uh, 1958. So tip of the hat and high five to Mr. Cushing. Uh, we advanced to today, and, and I think what's really neat is we were able to, over the course of two and a half years, convince the U.S. ski team and the International Ski Federation, commonly called the FIS, to bring an Alpine World Cup to Squaw Valley. And there's so many different layers that are really intriguing uh, for everybody who's an impassioned skier. Uh, number one, the very same venue that we hosted the GS on, the Giant Slalom Race, Red Dog Dogleg uh -huh. in 1960, was also the same venue for the 1969 World Cup. Um, that's the same venue that we're gonna use for the Alpine World Cup in March of 2017. So there's a lot of pride, and I think it's pretty remarkable to think that the same GS course that we're gonna use for March of 17 has got that legendary status already. This is the same venue we used in 1960. And one more thing, just bring it right back home, which is where we are. Uh, this is the same slope where Julia Mancuso learned how to ski. This is where Julia Mancuso learned how to go from pizza pie to french fry. <laughs> it's also the same venue on which she's going to compete and hopefully win the GS. We really hope that this is going to be the first of many World Cup events coming back to Squaw Valley. Well, I, I think so. that's going to be really good. Yeah, I appreciate that, Phil, very much. Uh, you're, you, know, you and your fans are impassioned skiers. Yeah. We are, too. Ski racing is at the core of our heritage yep. and who we are. Now, you've been here five years now. Share with our viewers something that people might not realize about Squaw Valley. Got it. Something that folks may not know is our strategic vision for the company and for the for this destination includes uh, enhancing the accessibility mm -hmm. via the Reno Tahoe Airport, which okay. is a real jewel 
and we want to have people from Orange County, from Long Beach be able to access this area more easily. So we're very focused on increasing the number of nonstop flights into this area. Number two, we think we can enhance the quality of the lodging offerings through the redevelopment effort and connecting those mountains. We think those three things can be done very effectively, but importantly and very critically with respect to the heritage and the history and, and what we've always been as a ski resort. I've lived in mountain communities my whole life and I can tell you the people are what define those communities and the great thing is we're respectful of, of everybody's view and vision of what this place can be and we're quite convinced that we can exercise and implement these elements of that vision and still be core to who we are the Squaw Valley and very respectful of our past. I, I say quite often it's with a respectful eye to the past that we usher in a new future. Well, we're excited to be in here and again thank you very much Andy for your time. This is Phil Puglisi with Pugski.com and we'll see you out there on the hill.